I am very happy in how this ship is looking. This is what we've been working on in the live stream. Did a little bit of work on the cockpit offline, but now the space. Let's kind of fill this up. So the idea with the internals is this is gonna be kind of like the cargo area. I'm thinking of a bit of like a food prep. Food. Something a little bit silly is we'll have a bed that sits above the food. And then somehow along here will be storage, some sort of bracing to go along here. And then we'll put in lights and then some sort of kind of like air conditioner. In through here, we'll make a door to kind of block off this, to kind of block off the entry. Sorry, the, what's that? Cockpit. And uh, yeah, we're kind of gonna slap it together. So it's gonna be asymmetrical. It's not going to be symmetrical. So let's kind of, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we can whip up. So with something that's going to be a bit of a bed looking, I'm thinking something nice and high, like so. Almost as if it's, yeah, a bit of a boat. So that's going to mean we're going to have to create something where he's going to climb. However, let's do a bit of a food preparation first. I mean, since sci-fi, might as well make something that's a dishwasher oven in one. <laughs> Little bit of a floor here. Surprise, surprise. So we can pivot. Let's move this. Well, actually I can move this back a little bit. Push it to the side. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll make some cupboards. Yeah, slot that in. This now chest of drawers doubles as a ladder for the bed. So maybe I'll just duplicate this and put it into place like that. And let's get like a tall cupboard. Maybe just kind of like a standard locker. Is it gonna fit? Can always go into edit mode and we'll rescale all this. Let's bring it down a smidgen. There we go. We'll just make it flush with the wall. And that's so that it kind of looks better coming up the ramp. I wouldn't mind some sort of like yeah, the bracing. So maybe something like that. Can we slot it in there? And it'll just give the ship a little bit of extra, uh, vagrants. Support. Yeah, there we go. That's the word. Nice. So the interior is looking pretty good. Floor we need to do. Um, put in some lighter Roonies. So what I might do is let's make, let's start off with the aircon. Nice and simple. Something like that, something like that, something like that. Whole bunch of edge loops, select all this, and we can always press V to rip. Oops, wrong side. Let's go on this side, V to rip, lovely. All right, that's uh, not too bad. I wouldn't mind a bit of a border, so let's do that. E to extrude. Um, let's go with a little bit of curved theme, so it's not gonna be too hard surface. And so we'll grab those edges, ever so slightly, a little bevel. Oof, hello. That looks grouse. Let's install the brand new air conditioner. If only it was that easy. Now we need to create some sort of lights in here. So maybe we just select all that, control B, give it a bit of a bevel. Yeah, let's go with that. And it's kind of like a bit of a diffuser there. To make my life easier, I'm gonna make the back here, the origin point, so shift S, Cursor to selected, into object mode, right click, set origin, origin 3D cursor. Now, why'd you do that, Marco? Well, if I come up the top here and select the snap to, we'll go to face, make sure we've got align rotation to target and move. If I press control and now hold, what's that? Control. We can see that it's facing the wrong way. That's because we've got a bit of a easy fix. What I'm gonna do with that one, is go scale ZZ minus one. There we go. Tab into edit mode, we'll select everything and press shift N to reflip the normals. Let's just put a small little bevel on there. There we go. So now when I press control, I hate you. Ah, at the top here, face orientation, this is all blue. Because steel marker, you gotta apply the scale. Control A, apply the scale. Now when we press G, it's gonna be fine. And also, Shift in. There we go. I've just realized that this roof isn't straight. Awesome. Nevertheless, we will line that back up. Select all three into the modifiers, add modifier, generate mirror modifier. Now I'm going to make the um, plate up here as my 
mirroring surface because I've done that for everything else. Now to copy this across to everything else, on the drop down, copy to selected. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's quickly make two new materials. One's going to be matte underscore internal light caps lock with everything still selected let's go copy materials to selected and then from here i am just going to select these three faces assign change the principle to emission let's go 10 and now we will come back and kind of clean these lights up uh, you buddy let's move you down there we go yeah nice with the door frame let's just grab the whole edge here let's do a shift d to duplicate and e to extrude along the y axis Control l to select everything that's linked p separate by selection make its own object i don't so much like the archway so we might just square it off up the top now what we've learned from deconstructing star citizen videos we know there's things that we can do with this door so let's kind of create some basic geometry nice i like this and we'll come back to finish that off so expanding on the idea of the cargo, these are one by one by one meter blocks. What if they're super heavy? We'll come back to that idea. Uh, boop. Let's maybe add some details to these walls. I'm going to grab these faces here. Shift D to duplicate. We're going to pull them out. What I'm feeling is almost like a little bit of a um, bit where it comes out here, like so. And then we can have a section come down, something like so. I do like the ability to have the top bit just a little bit of angle. Duplicating this face, scaling it down a smidge, and then we'll do some of my favorite things. Slot, bevel, scale, Z. I like it. Let's grab everything. E to extrude a smidgen. Grabbing everything and we'll pull it back. Keep it simple. Maybe we'll throw a bevel on it. That's a bit better. Or, better yet, let's delete this. Extrude this out. Let's see if we can kind of get some cuberoonies happening. Let's go ahead and add in a little bit of a cloth. Cloth? Cloth? Then we can kind of create these... Um, panels? That's looking pretty shabby. So let's kind of go ahead and slap them up against the wall. I think that needs a bit of a border around it. So let's go ahead and quickly create something like that by adding in a bunch of edge loops. With this, let's just duplicate that out. I had to do an inset. Let's bring the internals in a little bit. The outsides out a little bit. Extrude it back then move it back that looks pretty cool however i think there's more that we can do with this so i'm going to grab these portions down here i to do a small little inset e to extrude upwards let's go two new materials our light material and a sign so if we would actually have a look we've got this nice little glow coming around the down the bottom which is absolutely awesome so I think we might slot that puppy back in. Ah, crud. So right, we'll just separate that by selection. Wait, what are doing? That to me is looking pretty schmick. Now at the present moment, it doesn't seem much, but like and subscribe, and we're gonna finish this off.